Welcome to this cricketing masterclass on the art of playing spin in one day cricket. My name is Mike Atherton. I'm with a modern day master, Kumar Sangakara. Let's start with the basics, Kumar. Ball can either spin into you or away from you. How do you decide whether to play with the spin or against the spin? Well, I think you've got to be prepared to do both. Hitting with the spin is, of course, of course much safer. And if you come into bat when spinners are on and it's a nice spread field, you'll have your short mid wicket, short extra cover, maybe a short fine leg and, and, and one man on the offside. So you have enough gaps to penetrate to work your singles. So if it's spinning into you, you hit with the spin. If I can just show you and you hit good hard shots to the sweepers. You come in, the ball's pitching on offside, spinning in, you go mid on. If it's slightly a little bit straighter, you can actually go with the spin and work your wrist to deep square leg. If it's shorter on the offside, you go to the sweeper. Let's just have a look at a couple of players who are very good at playing with the spin, first of all, Virat Kohli and Kane Williamson. I just look at the head position, big long stride down the pitch, nice hands watching the ball, and look at this, all nice hard shots along the ground to the sweepers. Even a forward defensive is a slight push because you need to penetrate into the gaps beyond those short fielders on the off or leg side saving one. Dying art is that in our days you were supposed to use your feet and actually get down to the ball, but now everything's done from the crease and that's fine because that's the modern game. Well, let's talk about using the crease then. We saw um, Kane and Virat playing with the spin mainly. One of the other fundamentals of playing spin is reading the length quickly. The moment you see it fractionally short, you're able to get deep in your crease to open up the offside and your back foot play. But then if you see the ball slightly flighted, the ability to move quickly down the pitch. So you're giving yourself maximum room to put pressure on the spin bowler. You talked about getting deep in your crease. Where would your interception point be, Athers? You have maybe one or two fielders at times on the offside. So would you allow it to come a little bit later to try and get that boundary finer? You're looking for the gap, so if the gap is fine, you're letting the ball come and you're almost playing it after it's past you. But if you're looking to hit the ball straighter, then you're taking it a little earlier. And using your feet, one of the questions you know, I've always had is, what do you use your feet for? Is it just a single as well? In the modern day game, most of the time when batsmen come down the track, it's to hit a big shot. Would you do both? What I wanted to ask you actually is about the technique of coming down. Do you come crossing over or do you shimmy? I shimmy. When I was young, I still remember under 15 cricket, we were always told to cross over when you're coming down. I think that's quite uncomfortable. It's quite unnatural. I think everyone's got to find what's natural and comfortable and what actually gets you to the pitch or if you want to hit a six, you've got to be slightly behind it so you can get the elevation. Either that or the other, whatever works. Let's have a look at England's middle order in the World Cup of 2019. Joe Root, first of all, who is such a, a brilliant player of spin, looks to play back more than many do in the modern game. But examples here of, of going deep in the crease, taking the ball late, hitting the ball square, when the bowlers are fractionally short, but looking to come down the pitch, but then moving deep. But the ability also to come down the pitch and play aggressively over the top, such a, a fundamental part of one day cricket. Uh, it's great to watch and also just allowing the ball to come, you know, right behind them to play it finer, slightly in front to hit it squarer. And like I said, every time they use their feet, it's a six, isn't it? It is raining sixes. Whenever Morgan's facing at the moment, Let's talk about the sweep shot, particularly when the ball is turning in the subcontinent, so important. I think the sweep has become an indispensable part of the modern day batter's repertoire. Not just a conventional sweep, which we'll talk about in detail now, but also the reverse sweep. The fundamental in the sweep is that if you, if you decide to sweep, you sweep, you do not pull out of it just because of the length. Well, let's have a look at uh, a variety of these sweep shots then. You said it's not good enough now for a batsman just to have one particular sweep. He's got to be able to manoeuvre himself into position so he can hit the ball anywhere in the arc from 45 degrees to in front of square. And then you've got the reverse sweep as well. And if you've got all these shots in your armoury, it makes life very difficult for a spin bowler. Just one last point on the sweep, Arthur, as I would like to, to bring out is that 
how you place your sweep. If you're hitting it square or over mid wicket, your front leg would really open up a little bit more. If you want to maneuver the field, hit it slightly square or finer, you'd actually get your foot slightly across. Or as we saw with Mushfiqur Rahim, you can actually step across, get outside the line and sweep it finer uh, past the fielder. Well, one of the best exponents of the sweep in the modern game is Faf Du Plessis, the South African batsman. Just talk about the fundamentals of his game. Uh, he's been brilliant uh, for South Africa and the IPL as well. Nice low stance, a wider stance probably, head position forward, that's where you should be. Nice long stride to the ball, slightly away from the pitch, so it'll, this will go a little bit squarer. But then look at that extension of the arms, the arms slightly away at the top, coming through, and his back knee bends and comes you know, almost to the ground with the front swing of his hands and then he makes nice square contact and then that allows the wrist to close after impact and the bat goes high again. But the key is really your head position from the start, weight on the front foot. When you really get down and you're making contact, it's got to be in just in front of your front knee, almost over the top of the front of your shoe because that allows you to get the contact, get on top of the ball and make sure you don't miss it. Okay, so some keys, make sure you read the ball well out of the hand, read the length of the ball, have plenty of shots in your locker and try and put pressure on the bowlers in one day cricket in those middle overs.